Now it's time to sit with some very amazing individuals. They started off with the perfect match um, as couples and over the course of the last few weeks were evicted, but are certainly looking absolutely super. And clearly outside has nothing on you. I mean, you all look absolutely amazing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are we feeling? We have uh, the amazing Ali and of course the very beautiful Ruth. We have the wonderful Jatta and the lovely Sandra and finally Sasha and oh the very beautiful Sasha in red and finally the handsome Seti hi everyone how are we <laughs> Okay, it's good to have you here. Um, I've been looking forward to seeing you guys. Uh, I haven't seen a few of you in a while. Um, first and foremost, how, how's outside treated you? I'll start with Ali. Ali, Ali because you were our first evicted housemate. Um, how, how was out, how, how, how did it feel like going out as a first evicted housemate? <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun. Mm. Like, it's crazy out there. Uh, at a point, when I was in the house, I, I feel like I'm home already. So mm -hmm. immediately I go home, I was like, <laughs> outside was superb. It was amazing. <laughs> how did people receive you? Oh, very, very in, a, in a nice way. Mm. You were like, mm. oh. Initially, bruh. Initially, that's not the end of life. <laughs> uh, Ruth, how was it like uh, being the first evict? Do you, do you regret that it was you that came home first, the first evicted housemates? Yes, I do. Mm. But how was it like when you came out? I wasn't happy, but later on I realized definitely there will be one winner and... So I need to cope. So mm. I was cool because I was welcomed very cool. So mm. I was like, I'm just... Accept the fate that yeah. I'm out from the house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sandra Jatu, uh, I, you look lovely. Um, how Thank was you. it like coming out of the house? How, how was the reception? Um, well, the reception from my fans were very welcoming. Mm. They welcomed us very well, and I was happy, and that's all I can say. Okay. Like, all everything right. Jatu went yourself. Well. Yeah, we also had a very good reception, mm. especially from our lovely fans. You know, they went their way to actually create something beautiful for us. Yeah. Yes. But then again, um, outside the world, I mean, outside Perfect Manchester was much more like a political rally, <laughs> where, where, you know, you have these threats, people are yeah. threatening you physically yeah. and yeah. spiritually. So, I mean, to the extent where, I mean, you got to a point where Sandra was nearly slapped just huh? because of... Huh? Yes. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, re reverse. Wait, someone nearly slapped Sandra. Yeah, some, someone nearly slapped her. Yeah. Why? I mean, due to the impressions that, you know. They had about they her had, in they, the house. Yes, the impressions people created about her in the house. So they nearly slapped her. And then what was the reason? The reason is like, that was it, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. How, how, how did you react to that? I was just calm about it because, I don't know, I, just, I, I didn't know how to react. I was so, just calm about wait, it. Wait, when you came out, people have, is it that people, some people have villainized you? Like, you, people make you feel like you're some sort of villain? Yeah, they made me feel like I was the bad person for taking grace from Jato. But, <laughs> Jato <laughs> from grace, so, I don't even know. Wow. <laughs> And, and that's how you also perceived when you came back? Uh, well, I, I kind of expected it. Like I said, this is something which um, it has been there before even coming on this stage. Mm. It's a matter of history. You get it. And then we've had this kind of backlash already. So it is like the second time it's happening. Mm. You get it. Uh -huh. And then that's why we were actually speaking for the truth for those who are making us look bad to own up to say the truth. So, yeah. Now we'll come back to the truth because your... You created um, or, ha or said a few things about what you perceived as who was being truthful in the house. And that narrative has sort of continued. And sometimes people say, oh, yes, what Jato said was true, especially when it comes down to grace. So I, I actually want to know exactly what you meant and if there has been any truth proven about that. But Sandra and Jato definitely gave us a lot of feels in the house. And one of them is certainly this video. But I just woke up. Even when I came, you were doing something and I was still resting right before you came, so... I'm active. Hmm. What do you know? Tell me the song you can sing. I don't know any song, just... 
就随着身高哈。Of the studio right now, um, but yeah, okay. I'll co I'll come to Jato and Sandra, but let me bring in Seti and and Sasha into the conversation. Seti, do you feel like you went home a little too early? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Because I was actually getting into the groove. You are now getting into the groove. Yes. Do you I, feel like you delayed getting into the groove? No, it wasn't because there there were so many factors in the house that prevented me from from actually living and proving to the world when it comes to romance what i can also do what were those factors okay so getting into the house bb was or my partner mm. was actually in for a target mm -hmm. and most of the times i was kept on the on the blind side uh, but why didn't you now seek someone else because yeah. there were other females even though they were tied she clearly said i wanted kodak and she tried no problem to work about that. that and the thing about me is there, there are there are other ladies in the house but those ladies we don't necessarily have that kind of um, connection that I, I think I felt for BB ah, coming into the house. Okay. It wasn't maybe a, as strong as BB's. Mm. So she was all over somebody else that prevented me from... I can't chase a woman that is chasing somebody else. Mm. Yeah, mm. it makes me worthless. So yeah. I think I just allow her to play. And the time she thinks she's done and wanted to come back to me, I've also lost it all for her. So that was when I think Brownie came into the picture. And then... All of a sudden, we are here today. Hmm. Now, <laughs> well, quite interesting. Uh, you sort of started forming a connection with Brownie um, at a point. Yeah. And yeah. almost as soon as you were out, she moved to, well, when she came in, uh, sort of moved on to Ohenaba fairly quickly. Do you feel that it wasn't genuine enough? Because if she really wanted you, she wouldn't have moved on. Or do you think, do you think she moved on too quickly? No, no, no. I, did, I don't think so. Because, oh, really? because yeah, prior to, to her getting into the house, mm. we had a discussion. And then I told her that I want her to go out there and play the game or just... I'm not sure I'm the most handsome guy or mo the, most, the, the best of guys on this mm. planet. And then if there's a substitute or if she feels a stronger connection to, with somebody... She should pursue it. I'm, I'm okay with that. But it, once it ends, is she allowed to come back to you? Oh, no, if, if it doesn't work out and she thinks I'm the best and she's back, no problem. But, You're willing to take her? But, yeah, I wish her well. I wish okay. her well. Seriously. I like that. That's interesting. Hello, Sasha. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you had a... It wasn't a simple tax, but a task nonetheless, to go in there and shake a ship and find a man. But you almost seemed that, Charlie, I, I can't do, so you sort of backed off quite quickly. What prevented you from fulfilling your, 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 your task? First, I'll say I felt pity. Pity? <laughs> yeah. You felt pity? Yeah. For who? Because, um, actually, I mentioned here that Sedi was my crush. Yeah. But I really used Sedi to cover my crush. My crush was rather Kodak. Eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Your crush was rather Kodak. Yes. So why didn't you pursue him? I wanted to, but how Bella was crying. And no, but then, you had a task now. I mean, yeah. you're supposed to. You saw how Brownie wormed her way quite quickly with Bebelino in the first, the first few hours. Why didn't you make that move? I tried. You tried. And Bella was the one that prevented you from going there. No, she didn't. I only felt pity. You, like, fe you felt pity for her. Yes. 
Okay. You, you knew that your time in Big Mama's house was dependent on you getting a guy. Yeah. Yet you made pity for someone else prevent you from actually staying in the house? Yeah, when I saw it that way, I wanted to rather push it back to Sadie. Mm -hmm. But I realized my friend was interested. So okay. I had to leave him for her. So you just, you just resigned and just said, yeah, okay, yeah, uh, you guys, and, and you, you, more fire is okay. Yeah. Me, me, me. <laughs> Interesting. So you used Sadie because you really wanted Kodak. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting.